Hey guys, what's going on? This is Charles at Open Source Marketer. And in this video, I'm going to compare the Thrive Content Builder to Elegant Themes Page Builder. So let's get started. If you've used Elegant Themes at all, you know that they include a page builder in their themes, which is great for controlling the layout of your content. The one thing that you might not realize though, or might not like, is that they only provide that on the pages themselves. So let's go in and look at a page here. We'll create a new page. And so see here on the page, you can use the page builder to control the layout of your content. But if you went and added a new post, which we'll add it, we'll open up in a new tab, that option is not available to you to create a new post. So that's kind of a bummer because uh, the page builder is a fun little tool within Elegant Themes to be able to do uh, control things. So what do you do? Well, there is a plugin called Thrive Content Builder. It's a you know separate thing that works uh, independent of any particular theme and it allows you to be able to control the layout of your content using either a post or a page and that's pretty cool so let's look at the differences so if you've never used this before here's the deal you've got basically your your default WordPress editor which allows you to be able to create things either visually or using HTML and uh, for the most part, it's functional, but it's a little limited. Most of the time, you know, you've got your content and you put it in and you, you put a new line and you put your, new, your next content, you add an image, you know, and everything's kind of stacked up on top of each other. It's very linear and it's very top down. There's not a real good way for you to be able to drag things around and control the layout of it. And uh, in these days, you really need to be able to do that uh, inside of the tool. And so a lot of different authors have come up with solutions for that. Elegant Themes has come up with their page builder and Thrive has come up with their content builder. And I think that uh, the two can live in the same space. If you like your Elegant Themes uh, themes, then you can still use them with the Thrive content builder and uh, or you can use it with a completely separate theme if that's your thing as well. So let's just save this draft and I'll show you what I mean. So here's basically our old school WordPress stuff. And then if we wanted to, we could use the Elegant Themes page builder to come in here and say, okay, I want to do some uh, stuff that's a little more fancy than that. So I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the layout here so that we get a brand new uh, layout. I'm going to insert three columns. And then from here, if I wanted to, I could insert uh, a text module and I could say... Um, let's just say text and then we'll, we'll bold it because we can and uh, that's good and then what we'll do is we'll save that and so now I've created this module this text module here and I want to have you know the same text module in three different columns right maybe I like the formatting of that maybe there's uh, you know some repeating elements in this uh, text module but unfortunately, there's not a real good way to duplicate those, at least that not that I am aware of. So uh, what you'd have to do is you have to go in and you have to create another text module. You have to put in the content that you wanted. So let's just do that. This time I will uh, bold it and I will copy it so that I can paste it in later. And we'll do the same thing for the third column. So we'll just paste that in and hit save. So now I've created this three column thing with these text modules in it and the text modules have content in them and I can save that, okay? But if I wanted to, I could just go and preview this and look and say, oh look, okay, here's my, here are my three, my three boxes, um, my three columns with the content modules in them, or the text modules in them with text content in them, right? So it, it helped me to visually build those three columns. I didn't have to write any HTML to be able to do that. All right, so let's do that same thing with the Thrive Content Builder and see how it compares. So basically when I open this up, I get a list of all the different things that I can do over here on the right-hand side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add three columns. I just clicked it. I could also drag it in if I wanted to and, and, and specify exactly where I want the positioning to be. Uh, I can go in here and I can say I want a style two content box. So there we go, we have a content box. I can actually go in and control, uh, whoop, I got jumping ahead here. I can actually control the color of the content box. So if I wanted to have it like that, uh, I can bring in a button to the content box and I can say I want the button to be green. And then if I wanted to, I could actually duplicate. So let's go off of that. 
uh, yes, thank you. I could duplicate the whole box and then I could drag it up here to column two. And I could duplicate it again and I can drag it up to column three. So right there, in a real quick like, I have duplicated the same thing that's down here at the bottom, but you can see it's a much richer experience up at the top here with the Thrive Visual Editor than it was with the Elegant Themes Editor. And I was able to visually see it as I built it, as opposed to the way that the um, Elegant Themes does it, where you kind of have this, everything's sort of abstracted and you don't really know what it's going to look like once you're done. So over here, I was able to do this with Thrive where I can see exactly what's going on. So if I preview this, it'll open up another tab and we'll see that here are my three boxes and here are the first three boxes that I created with the Elegance, Elegant Theme Page Builder. Now if I scale this down, I can see that what it'll do is it will actually format for tablet and it will format, format for phone. So I can see that it will um, adjust columns as it goes along just like the Elegant Themes stuff does as well, because all, or at least most of the new Elegant Themes are built with mobile responsive in mind. So that's kind of cool that they, they play well together in that respect as well. The other thing here, let's see, let's go back, that I want to point out is that you don't just get that um, Thrive content builder on pages, but you also get it on posts. So if you remember the... Uh, Elegant Themes page builder was available on pages, but not posts. So if we flip over to a post here, so here's a brand new post. We'll just save that as a draft and then go into the Thrive Content Builder. And just like before, I can come in here and I can say, I want a content box. Bow. I want that content box to have a button in it. And I want that button to be... Um, I want the button to be green and I want the box itself to be gray and in the button itself I may actually say hey I want that to be full width and there you go now I can save that change I can preview it and there's my box with my button in it uh, for the most part that's the comparison between the Thrive Content Builder and the Elegant Themes page builder. So I would say that the Thrive Content Builder is more versatile, um, at least in the respect of being able to use it on pages and posts and being able to see visually what's going on as you're building it. That's pretty cool. So I have links in the description for both the theme and for the Thrive plugin. Be sure to check those out. If you have any comments, questions, put them in the comments below and be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Thanks.